is so bad mm -hmm. that what we're reading every day is killings, children being killed, people have lost their mind, there is no food on the table, the economy has dwindled, and there is high level corruption. This is the root cause of the problem in Kenya. Every day we wake up, we're looking at the newspapers, we're reading stories that we've never seen before in the history of Kenya, where a woman will wake up and poison her kids because she can't handle it anymore. Deputy President, you are on the front lines in the churches. We know where you stand with your faith. What is wrong with the Kenyan fabric? Why are Kenyans so desperate to that level? We read this news and we wonder what's going on with our motherland. It is not good at all. What are you going to do about it? Because you're running for the top seat on what grounds now if people cannot put, put food on the table? People are committing suicide. There's even incest in the families. We've got to tell it like it is because that's what's happening in Kenya. How are you going to address that? Because all we see is that bickering of politicians while people are suffering. Yes, there's COVID. That is global. What is the problem with Kenya? What's the problem with this high level corruption? What's the problem with not putting food on the table? Why can't we feed Kenyans? Why can't you feed Kenyans? You're the leaders. It's your responsibility. Answer me because I'm very emotional on that topic. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you very much, Esther, and I feel you. Yes. Um, to be able to diagnose the problem of Kenya in this interview, we will not do justice to it. Well, highlight a few things. So I, I'm going to give you the broad picture. Things are difficult in Kenya, but they are not as bad as you've described. I, I think, I think, uh, we'll see the feedback I think you've on been, Facebook. I've been, I think you've been reading the social media too much. No, no, no. <laughs> no. But yes. we have a situation that needs to be addressed. Yes. And that situation is not out of control. I can tell you that, um, yes, we can deal with the problem of hunger in our country. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, we dropped uh, the subsidies on agriculture inputs and by so doing lowered the productivity of our farmers. It is my very strong belief that the very first thing that we must do is to sort out our agriculture. How do we do it? One, we need to put in resources to make sure